Greetings everybody and welcome to Publius's Thoughts. Today I am going to discuss the situation and my thoughts in terms of the attempted assassination on former President Donald Trump. First off, I want to state that I am glad to see that Trump is going to be fine. What bothers me about this, especially while I'm not surprised is that people are okay with the attempt at assassination of the former president. There has been so much rhetoric, you know, around him by certain factions within that of the country that has, you know, boiled this over to this situation. You know, I am just not, I just don't know how to digest all of this. There is so much going on and my position is rather upsetting, confused, and just upset at multiple people that I feel, well, not people, but factions of individuals or groups or whoever that might be, that I feel that are truly responsible for this environment for what has occurred. I've, deba I've debated with myself on what I want to say. Because I'm confused on what I wanted to say. One side of me wants to say, let's take up arms, drag the politicians out, and do whatever needs to be done. After all, that is why we have a Second Amendment, after all. We are under tyranny by this administration, the administrative state. But I, can, I can't say that because, yes, it would be irresponsible. I have to believe that there is a better way forward. Against all the odds and what has occurred, I know so many people are upset as I am, confused, don't know what to do about that anger. I just, just don't take it out on someone else that's just not responsible for it, you know what I'm saying? And all that. It's just, no matter if you agree with it or not, this is a historical event in American history. Last attempt at assassination was, I think, in 1986 or 89 of President, former uh, President Reagan. I have to wonder, with all the failures at the Secret Service on top of it, is anyone going to be held accountable? I personally don't. I, I doubt anybody will be held accountable. The government is so corrupt. Everyone that was on the details should resign or be terminated. I would prefer terminate if they don't resign on their own, including head of the agency of the Secret Service. I remember my father, who is 77 years old, who told me about the day that he remembers when JFK was, was killed. He cried and all that. It is an outrage, too, that RFK has been denied Secret Service. You know, and also, too, it's been stated, too, that... Uh, you know, uh, I guess Trump's administration or Trump's uh, people and his Secret Service has asked for more and more, and uh, he's been denied on multiple fronts. And, you know, I think it's outrageous, too, that uh, RFK has been denied Secret Service. And perhaps RFK is better off without it. I have read that Eric Prince, former CEO and founder of Blackwater, has been brought into Trump's camp or has been consulted about what has happened. He still provides services and protection. If I was Trump, I ditched my Secret Service. They almost got him killed. Anyone else notice all the footage from the people there? How utterly slow the Secret Service was to react to this situation? The other thing, too, is I've got to wonder, do we, bought, do we dodge a bullet in terms of a true civil war? I ask this because what would have happened if Trump did get killed? At one time, they would have gotten away with it in terms of these narratives by the dinosaur media. But with the internet, they, they no longer control that narrative. Never will. Everyone with a phone, internet connection, and the ability to upload can give their opinion and what happened. The situation with attended, was attended by thousands of people. Secret Service failed. We, both, we all know that. To listen or engage the, the target when normal average Americans saw what the service, Secret Service was supposed to be doing. You know, what should happen 
and won't happen is that everyone from the detail needs to be terminated or resign. Congress needs to get off its lazy fucking ass. That means both sides of the aisle and reform, investigate, and make this right. Further, Congress, or this case, or in this case, the weakness of the RNC, the GOP, need to slash the budgets of every agency has been allowed to do what they have been done to and in terms of violating American citizens' rights. Yes, it will hurt in the long run and the short term, but it will benefit the American people. It's going to be a very difficult time in our history due to the lines being drawn by that to the upheavals in this country, the world, the instability in the entire world, not just in our country, but we will make it out of the situation. I have no doubts. We are strong Americans. We have had politicians from both sides of the aisle jail people, lie to the American people, pretend that they are doing their jobs, and the list goes on. We have to have faith in our system that it will work itself out. At least that is what I am hoping for. I don't want to see violence in the streets, American versus Americans. I have thought that would be the solution, and at times I still do. I don't have any warm message to you to feel better about the situation. You should be upset at this situation, no matter political party, because that could have been Biden instead of Trump. And no one wishes for our leaders to be killed. Yes, we should do it through the ballot box when we know that something is not right. Many feel that the voting is a waste of time because it changes nothing. But what else and what direction should we take then? Perhaps it's time for every average American to start running for office. It can be your school board, your city, local board, whatever it might be. But the change for the better of the generation coming up behind you, hell, I have faith in my 19-year-old. He's far more intelligent than I was at his age. And I think he will be very practical and realistic. In the end, I'm tired of people saying this is or about our democracy. We're not a goddamn democracy. We're a republic, and a republic is fractured by that of factions within it. So I'm going to wrap it up. Those are just my words. You know, you don't have to agree with them and stuff. But, you know, as angry as I am, you know, I don't want to see anybody get hurt for any unnecessary reason and stuff. We've got to hope that things will work themselves out. But I'm going to end this now. We're up to eight minutes. So you take care, everybody. Be safe. And be mindful of your surroundings. Take care, everybody. Bye.